Hi, this is Bob for Bob's Movie Reviews, and today is your chance to win a free DVD. All you have to do is stick around till after the review, and there will be instructions on how to win. So today we are reviewing Wreck-It Ralph. I'm going to be reviewing the 3D Blu-ray, but none of the special features. Um, I'm going to show the package a little bit, but uh, I'll put an annotation on the screen. I did an unboxing of this, go a lot more in depth on it. Um, I always like to show off the cases in the reviews just in case you've never seen them. Um, I, I really didn't care for this set the way they did it. It's pretty cheap. I mean this this 3D set cost about $30. Um, I got it at a deal but really uh, nobody offered this for less than $27.99 so pretty expensive to put out and um, you know no picture inside. They got the DVDs stacked. Uh, All together I just, I just think that for the price they should be offering you a lot better set. So I really didn't, <laughs> I didn't really care for the set, the way, they, the way they put it together. So let's talk about the movie, though. Uh, Wreck-It Ralph. Um, I kind of expected this to be maybe like some of the Disney Pixar movies, like Toy Story or uh, or Monsters, Inc., some of that kind of stuff. And in a way, you know, you could kind of see how this was kind of like that. Um, where I felt this one differed is um, it really strives more to have a cartoony look when you watch those movies you know they they strive more to be animated but to look realistic and this one really doesn't doesn't go for that it goes for more of a cartoon feel which which is fine with me um, this movie is 108 minutes long and rated PG and some of the voices you'll recognize right off the bat some of them you'll be like I know that voice but who is it and some of them you might just not even recognize so who's in this well we got John C. Riley, and I love John C. Riley. I think he's amazing actor like I love his voice too just the way he sounds and he's hilarious and um, he's the lead character and it also has Sarah Silverman Jack McBrainer Jane Lynch Alan <laughs> Alan Tadik I'm not sure how you say his name Mindy Calling. I did not notice her voice um, Joe Latruglio Tru- 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 Ed O'Neill and uh, those are all the names that I recognize, except Am- Adam Carolla. I didn't realize he was in it either. Um, I I feel like I enjoyed this movie as much as some other people. You know, I kind of on this movie, I want to see what uh, other people were giving it. And um, so let's talk before we get into actu- the actual movie. What I thought of it. Let's talk about the 3D. Now Disney has a reputation of amazing 3D movies. Um, all the ones I've seen, I've really liked, and I think that their 3D is just superb. Now, what did I think of 3D on Wreck-It Ralph? Well, I thought it was good, and uh, it was it was pretty simple. They didn't overdo it. They didn't. I didn't notice anything ever come out of the screen. Uh, it did add depth to the movie, but I also didn't feel like it necessarily added to the movie or made it more enjoyable. Honestly, if I was to to recommend to you, I would just recommend the 2D version. Unless you, you're, you're really big into 3D, then, of course, buy the 3D version. But for the price, I think most people are going to be better off just buying the 2D version. Uh, that said, there are some amazing visuals in this movie. Uh, that I mean, they just look amazing. And the 3D kind of ruins it, because uh, a lot of times in, when things are in fast motion in 3D, it's really hard to see, and... Um, so more enjoyable in 2D for a lot of that kind of stuff. I mean, the colors are amazing. Uh, there's just some amazing visuals in this that I, I really enjoyed that. So what's the movie about? Wreck-It Ralph is uh, the main character, and he's the star of the video game Fix-It Felix Jr. And it's, it's kind of like a... I can't even think of the, the game, but basically he has to destroy a house, or uh, like an apartment building and Fix-It Felix comes and repairs it, so you're when you're playing, you're Fix-It Felix, and you're trying to fix all the stuff he broke, and... But what happens at the end of the night is everybody in the game is still alive, and nobody likes uh, Ralph or any of the other villains in the games, and um, they came up with some really neat ideas, like they're having a... like a... like a support group for villains, and they're like in this little room, and then when they come out, it's a little box in the middle of uh, Pac-Man. So they're like walking through Pac-Man, and they he like grabs the cherries, and then when he comes out, he has these two big cherries he's eating, and 
like the the main hub for the video games is the actual surge protector they're all plugged into um they they go into this like candy game called sugar rush it's like a racing candy game and he's <laughs> he calls them kids of the candy corn and like there's a almost like a volcano but instead of being lava it's uh, diet coke and mentos fall in it just a lot of stuff like that that i thought was really creative and really enjoyable um one thing i thought based on the previews is that he would go to a lot of different games and he would keep trying to win medals in the games because he believes if he wins a medal then people will start to like him and he'll be popular and that's not the case he goes to uh he only goes to two different games um so it's it's not quite in that way that I felt they made it look like in the preview. But and then he meets a girl who is having many of the same problems as him and there's like evil people in the games. And it's it's pretty crazy, but pretty entertaining. I th- I thought the first half to me was kind of a little slow. It got I don't know, I've been saying this a lot, but the first half of the movies have been boring me. The second half of this movie is excellent though. Um so Based on that, I don't think I'm going to review this quite as high as some other people. Um, IMDb users actually gave this a 7.9, which is really high. I think I'm just going to give this a 3 out of 5. Um, definitely worth a watch, but I don't think this, this definitely isn't going down as a Disney classic. Um, so now, if you guys would like to win a free DVD, the description will have your rules, but we'll go over them real quick. You just have to be subscribed to my channel. <laughs> totally forgot. Okay, rate the video. And, you know, I always say this. I can't see what you rate it. I don't know who rates it what. So if you think this review sucks, give it a thumbs down. I encourage you. If not, you know, give it a thumbs up. So either way, just rate the video. And then just leave a comment saying you want to win. Um, where am I? <laughs> On Thursday, I enter all the new entries into here shake it all up and I pull out a new name announce on Thursday the winner so what what could you possibly win well okay I know I just added this in my new update um, dirty rotten scoundrels when I was when I was uh, talking about this for my update I was like you know this sounds really familiar and I looked and I do have it but it's a Steve Martin movie Steve Martin's always funny these guys, I can't remember exactly what it's about, but they're like con men, and they basically just try to steal money from people, and I, th- I think they, they're trying to, I don't remember, they get into some kind of fight or something, can't remember exactly, always love Steve Martin though, um, that is used, I just picked that up at the pawn shop the other day, Batman Begins DVD, this is brand new sealed, has the ultraviolet, This one, uh, another stakeout on Blu-ray. This is used. Night at the Museum DVD. That one is new, but this is full screen. And we got The Dark Knight. Come on, this is not the best Batman ever. I know you guys want that uh, DVD. I actually have two copies of that. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, Remember to give this a thumbs up if you did, and we'll see you next time.